Welcome to my channel, 365 Blend Bytes. Today, I will demonstrate how to create subtotals in Microsoft Excel using the formula and built in subtotal tool. As you can see, we have a sample dataset prepared for this demo. To begin, select the header row of the data. From the Home tab, go to Sort and Filter, then apply the Filter option. Before applying any subtotals, we need to identify which columns we will use for grouping. In this dataset, we have region, month, and product. These are the three categories available for subtotaling. Let's begin with region. To apply subtotals based on region, we first need to sort the region column. Click on the filter icon in the region header and sort the data in ascending or descending order, depending on your preference. In this example, we are sorting from A to Z. Once the data is sorted, select the entire dataset including the headers. Go to the Data tab. And under Outline Group, click on the Subtotal option. A subtotal dialog box will appear. In the first drop-down, labeled at each change in, select the column based on which you want to group the data. In this case we will select region which we have already sorted. Next, in the Use function drop-down, we will choose Sum. Then, in the Add Subtotal to section, select the column that contains the values we want to subtotal. In this case, we will choose the Total Sales column. Click OK. You will now see that Excel has added subtotals for each region. There is a total for East, North, South, and West. You will also notice that a grand total has been added at the end. Now, let's say you want to share only the subtotal summary without revealing the full dataset. On the top left corner, Excel shows outline buttons labeled 1, 2, and 3. Clicking on button 2 will collapse the data and show only the subtotals and the grand total. Clicking on button 1 will show just the grand total. To expand and view all the detailed data again, click on button 3. This is the first method of creating subtotals using Excel's built-in subtotal feature. Now, if you want to apply subtotals based on product instead of region, Here's how to do it. Select the entire data range again. Click on Subtotal, then choose the Remove All button. This will bring the data back to its original format without any subtotals. Next, sort the data based on product. Again select the data range. And under Data tab click on Subtotal. At each change in drop-down, select Product. Keep the function as Sum. Ensure the total sales column is selected for subtotaling. Click OK. Now the subtotals have been applied based on the product category. This is how you can create subtotals using the built-in feature in Excel. Let's now look at a simpler and more dynamic way using a formula. This method is especially useful if you want subtotals to update automatically when filters are applied. To begin, remove the existing subtotals to return the dataset to its original form. Then, insert a new row directly above the headers. In the cell above the total sales column, enter the formula using the subtotal function. Type an equal sign, then enter subtotal. Press the tab key to auto-complete the function and open the parenthesis. Type 9 as the first argument to specify that you want to calculate the sum. Then, insert a comma and select the range of cells to apply the subtotal on. Hit enter. This will now show the grand total for the full dataset. Now try applying a filter. Filter the region column, and you will see that the subtotal now reflects only the visible rows from the filtered region. Similarly, if you filter by product, the subtotal will update automatically to show only the total of the selected product. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Excel tutorials.